time students and teachers have heard a clear presentation of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have seen over 500 students and teach and teachers reach this past year with the word of God and resulting in thousands of souls making profession of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. With the churches right there in the place they are able to disciple these souls and have many join the church. Travel is a real obstacle in these countries. So many newly saved people cannot come to their churches. So many of the pastors and deacons are now traveling to the areas and having open air services or house-to-house -house Bible studies. Do you remember the shipping containers that we have been sending to these countries filled with Bibles, New Testament scriptures, colors books, crayons, gospel tracts, and John and Roman? These pastors and churches are getting these gospel materials into the hands of the lost world. As you well know, it takes funding to print, purchase Bibles, and ship those containers and distribute it, the material to the churches. Souls are being saved, churches are strengthened, and communities are being transformed through the word of God. This is a return on your mission investment. In his service, Brother Jeff and Beverly, uh, prior uh, we need to visit Toga, Benin, and Burkina Faso to help reopen school ministries that COVID shut down. Much prayer is needed for any trip, before any trips. We pray for uh, Jeff Bellamy and his wife that they uh, uh, do their ministry. Do appreciate what they do. So we continue to pray for them. I'll get into the bulletin. Uh, January 25th, Daniel's on to be here to preach. Uh, our uh, overnight, uh, our movie night and overnight will be January 27th. Now we'll uh, we'll try to do it then. Uh, if weather's permitting, then we'll do it that night. Okay, so that's two weeks from. It's two weeks be Friday, two weeks from last Friday. So. Uh, January 29th will be our youth Sunday with Donald Davis preaching. Also January 29th, special album for the building fund. February 5th will be communion. February 12th, special album for the youth group. Also February 12th, business meeting. And February 26th, special album for the building fund. Uh, anything else? If not, we'll get into the prayer request. Uh, Lane's mom, she has a uh, procedure to mark 1245, right? Uh, uh, Ralph Meek, Diane Eisenhower, Dolores Anderson, Brooke Hutchison, Clifton and Adam, Jerry Harry, Louise Markham, Joe Murray Bishop, uh, Kim Bernard, Reason Family, Jim Curry, Rosie Osborne, David Wilson, Carter Harris, Kennedy Greer, Cindy Ashley and Riley, Kelly Odom, Jalen Sutherland, Daniel Purchase, Dan Danny McAlay, Mildred Pice, Blake Atwood, Joanne Pope, Bay Church, Mary Bailey, Randy Jennings, Clara Hurd, Bobby Phillippe, Arlene Lay, Mary Miller, Doug Taylor, Theo Hensley, Sanford Humphrey and wife, Mason and Aubrey, they got to go have a procedure done tomorrow too. Uh, do pray for them. Carl Wiggins, Andy Lowe, David and Dee Dee Burnett and Dee Dee's surgery is the 24th. 
uh, Ryan, Mike Reynolds, Holly McFadden, Eddie's family, Ebenezer Christian Home, Ross Dow, Luella Dunn, Dennis and Hazel, Dorothy, Dorothy Keller, Danny Buchanan, Glenda McCulloch, Elizabeth Perdue, Terry Reed, William Williams, Harley Rankin, Ben Bowers, Kenny and Jane Head, Ed Ham, Sandra Moorfield, Lane Miller, Francis Brooks family, Laura Hart, Sue Williams, Tracy Connett, Brenda Lentz, Lunsford, Wendy Fox, Kathleen and family, Ruby Payne, Willa Gray Adams, Chuck Moorfield and family, Bob Miller and wife, Daxton Reese, Michelle Worley, David Ward, Terry Melissa, and do remember Melissa, she's supposed to have sur surgery the 25th. Pray it, uh, Lord, just keep her, keep her getting sick and stuff until that point. So, Benji Watson, Tommy Jack Shown, Joe Boltz, Minnie Moorfield, Avery Key, Elaine Kirby, Aaron Steele, Randy Lewis, Emily Church, Steve Crest, Dr. Connett, Delmer, Wendell Carraway, Maria Jennings, Rick Stout, Jim Brady, Ryan Marlowe, David Holloway, Unspoken, Margaret Eisenhower, Bob Miller, Our Church, John Yates, Joseph Rourke, Kathy McFadden, Jody Dunn, Liam Lenars, Harold and Shirley Reich, Katie Bentley, Earl and Barbara Campbell. Anybody else? That's it. Uh, do pray for this prayer list. Pray the Lord just touch these people. We ain't on here for nothing. Uh, any birthdays coming up this week? Brittany's 100. Huh? Is that what she said? Huh? If everybody will, we'll stand and sing happy birthday. Anniversaries. Is that it? If that's it, we'll step out now and have our morning fellowship. Shake everybody's hand. Tell me you're glad to see them, whether you mean it or not.
Amen. Like I said, let's get me back in the Lord's house this morning. Like I said, we appreciate everybody that's come out to be with us today. We just ask you to mind the Spirit of the Lord, whatever God tells you to do. That's what we ask you to do. If He tells you to shout, shout. If he tells you to sing, sing. If he tells you to run, run. That's all I can tell you. Amen. Just mind the Spirit of the Lord. But we do appreciate you today. Maybe somebody this morning has a song on your heart, something you'd like to say or do for the Lord this morning. Maybe a word or a testimony before we go on now. If not, then we'll go up our Bibles up over the book of St. Luke, chapter number 22. St. Luke, chapter number 22. When you find your place, if you're able, please stand with us for the reading of God's Word. Just continue to deal with them and to help him and to teach them what he needs to do and to get them where they need to be. I know God's willing. Amen. I know God's willing if he's willing. And if they're willing, they'll just have to be willing to do so. I, I just feel led this morning. Brother, you come on up. We're, we're going to have altar call this morning. We're just going to go to the Lord in prayer. We may not do nothing else today, but we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We gather around this family. He's got He's hurt. Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord, and humble ourselves before thee. Lord, we know today, dear God, that we can do nothing or are nothing without you. But Lord, I know with you everything is possible today, dear God. And I pray now, dear Heavenly Father, as we get ready to have this service today, as this brother is called out. And God, I know, dear Lord, that he's hurting deep down in his soul. And Lord, for things that he's done, things in the past. And God, we thank you today, dear Lord, that you're a forgiver of the things that we have done. God, I'm not a rememberer, Lord, but a forgiver. And I pray now, dear Heavenly Father, you'll take him and you'll use him, God, to be a light for you. Uh, God, I tell you, I pray that you'll help him to give him guidance, Lord, of what he needs to do. Uh, God, the direction that he needs to go in and the steps that he needs to take, God, I pray that you'll guide that path, Lord. Uh, I pray for the rest of his family, Lord, that they'll see the need just as well. Uh, God, just to get on the right road. And Lord, I thank you for loving us and caring for us and keeping us, God, uh, through all the storms that we've been through. Uh, and we just give you the praise today, dear God, whatever your, 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 uh, the, the, whatever your direction is for this service, God, uh, whatever words that need to be said, I pray that you'll provide them. Uh, go with us and we give you all the glory. Not our will be done, but thine. In Jesus' blessed name we pray. Amen. We don't always know what the Lord wants, amen. Uh, we don't always know which way that we might go or that we should go. But we're just going to do this. If you got your Bibles over to the book of St. Luke, chapter number 22, the Lord gave us this. The Lord put this message on our heart uh, back, back about Thursday, between Thursday afternoon and Friday morning. 
just two verses. I wasn't a hundred percent of sure what he wanted, but I'll tell you what, it blessed my heart so good. I may not get past an introduction on it, but it blessed my heart real good. And I just tell you, it goes right along with what everything that's happening here this weekend and happening here this morning, things that's been said. If you don't get nothing else out of it, I want you to get what these just just listen to these two verses. I know he's talking here in Luke chapter number 22, and we're going to read down at verse number 31. I know the Bible says it specifically called out Peter. Specifically called him out. And I'm glad one day he specifically called me out. I'm specifically glad that he, I'm so glad that he specifically took my name right up to the throne. Bible says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may that he may sift you as wheat. But I pray for thee, that thy faith fail not when thou art converted. Strengthen thy brethren. Let's pray. Dear me, Father, we come to you this morning, Lord, as someone that's death before thee. Lord, thanking you for another day and another opportunity, God, just to gather out on this side of heaven. Lord, I thank you for what we've already felt and what we've already seen happen here today. And God, I know you're on the scene. I, Lord, I know you're here willing to help and to move in anybody's life that's willing to accept. And God, I know you're willing here today, dear God, to be able to provide the, the need and the assistance, God, that they have. Lord, if they'll just be willing to reach out to you. Lord, I know it don't matter what you've been through. It don't matter what we struggle with. Uh, it don't matter how deep in sin we've been. Uh, God, you're able to forgive. Lord, you're able to cleanse and help us walk in, new, in newness of life. Uh, and I pray now, dear Heavenly Father, just like over here for Simon. Uh, Lord, just like over there for old Peter. Uh, God, I know, dear Lord, that you've been praying for this service today. Uh, God, I know you knew who would be here this morning. You knew what the weather conditions would be. Uh, but most of all, you knew what our spiritual conditions would be. And I pray now, dear God, that one that stands in need, of, Lord, they'll make a way down to this old altar. And God, they'll find the help that they need. Lord, whether it be for salvation, whether it be for restoration, whether it be for healing, whether it be for guidance, whatever it might be, Lord. Whatever they need, I know you have. Take this word and open it to our minds and to our hearts. God, that we might learn from it, uh, that we might grow from it, uh, that we might understand everything about it, God, what you have for us today. Uh, lead, guide, and direct, Lord, not our will be done, but thine. In Jesus' blessed name I pray, amen, amen. When I read that scripture over there earlier this week, uh, I wasn't exactly sure what God wanted us to get from it, but I did know this. Uh, I about have myself a spell then, I might have myself a spell today. Uh, Lord, just realize it. Exactly what it is that God, but Jesus did. I, I want you to realize something that everybody in this room today, everybody in this world today, hey, they are precious unto Him. You are. You listen. They might be people in this world that wrote you off. They might be people in this world couldn't care one thing about you. May not even want to see you ever again. But I'll tell you what Jesus does. He takes time out of His busy day. He takes time out of His busy schedule. Hey, he just found time to pray for me. Amen. Uh, he found time to pray for you. Uh, you want to know why we're here today? Uh, we're in this very spot this morning. Uh, we're in this very church house today. Uh, you're in that very pew today. Uh, all because of him. Uh, all because he knew uh, what it was going to take. Uh, listen, don't you know the old devil's going before the Lord? Uh, just like he did over there when he was uh, talking about old Joshua. Uh, hey, when he was over there come going up before the Lord. Uh, hey, trying to make accusations, uh, trying to say things that wasn't real, uh, trying to say things that wasn't so. Uh, hey, and you know what? Uh, I know he's up there making accusations today. Uh, I know what he'd like to do in my life. Uh, I know he'd like to destroy us. Uh, hey, but ain't you glad God's still praying for you? Uh, ain't you glad you still got an advocate? Uh, ain't you glad you know uh, that you've got a brother? Uh, ain't you glad to know uh, that you've got a, a, some, a friend uh, hey, that's going before the Father uh, and praying for us. Hey man, he told him over there, he said, Simon, Simon, he said, the old devil wants you. Don't you ever forget it. Hey man, 
Don't you ever forget in here today that old devil's doing everything he can, waiting on one second, uh, waiting on one spot to be able to get into your life, uh, waiting on one opportunity that he might have, uh, hey, to get you out of church, uh, hey, to get you away from God. Uh, don't you uh, don't you think uh, he ain't trying to steal your children? Uh, don't you think he ain't trying to rob your marriage? Uh, don't you think he ain't trying to do everything he can, uh, hey, to destroy us? Uh, you want to know why? Because he's destroyed. Uh, he's defeated. And he wants us to be in the same boat. I'm glad somebody prayed for me. I'm glad I had a Savior that was willing to take time out of his day and pray for me. Amen. I was thinking there, what the Bible tells us there. He said, Simon, Simon, the old devil has done everything he wants to get a hold of you. i tell you what he wants to do to you. He wants to sift you, amen. In other words, you know what that word sift means? That word sift means this. That word means to, it means to shake, amen. Uh, you know how they sift weed? Uh, there's all kind. You can go back to the history of the Bible and you can find different techniques uh, all through the Bible of how they thresh it uh, and how they separate it. Uh, hey, that, that, that wheat from the, uh, uh, from the husk. Uh, and that's what the old devil wants to do. Uh, he wants to separate, amen. Uh, you know what the word actually means? It means to separate. Uh, it means, and you know what they try to do? It means to separate, uh, hey, the good from the bad, amen. Uh, you know what the old devil's trying to do? Uh, I promise you, uh, he wasn't looking for the good in your life. Uh, he wasn't looking for the good things in your life. Uh, the devil wanted to separate you from God, amen. Uh, he wanted to separate you from serving the Lord. Uh, he wanted to separate you from going to the house of God. God. He wants to separate you from praying. He wants to separate you from being around family. He wants to separate you from being around others. Hey, that loves God. Why? Because he knows there's goodness there. He knows there's greatness there. The devil do everything he can. Hey, to get us out of church. To get us out of studying. To get us out of praying. But ain't you glad you got somebody praying for you? Amen. Look, that won't get me wrong. There's times we get weak. There's times when we don't feel like praying. There's times when we don't feel like studying. There's times when we don't feel like preaching. There's times when I don't feel like going nowhere. There's times when we don't feel like doing anything for God. But all I have to do is remember this. Exactly where he brought me from. And exactly where I might be. Hey, I've told you this story a few, uh, several times, but I'm going to keep telling it to the day I die. I remember several years ago, I was on my, in the truck going headed to work, uh, and I got to thinking about all the places that I could have been, uh, the life that I used to live, uh, the things I used to do. Uh, and I got to thinking, man, I ought to been in a ditch dead somewhere. I ought to been out strung out somewhere. I ought to been in jail somewhere. And man, I was feeling so bad for myself. I was feeling so sorry about the things I did. Hey, and you know what it was? What happened next? Hey, I believe the Savior just sat down beside me. And he told me right there, that's where you could have been. That's where you should have been. Hey, but I prayed for you. Hey, because the old devil wanted to sift you. He wanted to get you out. He wanted to get you away. He wanted to get you down there where he is. But thanks be unto God, I wasn't separated. Hey, I was joined in. Hey, man, I got joined up. Hey, man, I got joined in. The old devil's done everything he could to separate us, some of us. He's working on families today. He's working on homes today. He's working on our kids today. He says he works in all different kinds of shapes, forms, and fashions. But know this, none of them's good. Amen. None of them's good. Oh, we think they're good. We think they're good for the flesh. Satisfies the flesh a little bit. You know what they do when they sift? Here's what them old, here's what them old farmers would do. They take some of that chaff up. They take some of that wheat up. And they put it in this string. This string that's kind of different shapes and sizes, but they take it, a little bit of it, and they put it in this screen, and they shake that thing. 
you know what they what I was listening to one farmer I had done a little studying on it one time and he said it just serious you gotta seriously shake it. Amen. That's that's where you can really get that thing moving. That, and you can really get that stuff moving that wheat moving around. That, to where you can get the seed out. That, and the seed will stop falling and start falling through. That, and you can get rid of that. that and you know what? That, that's exactly what the devil likes to do to our lives. That, he likes to come in and to seriously shake things up. He wants to shake your life up. That, he don't want you having any peace. That, he wants our minds running right, uh, uh, to and fro. Uh, he wants our minds running ragged in places that they shouldn't be. I'm going to tell you today, you need to listen up because the devil would like to grab you up and shake you all over. I can tell you now, if it hadn't been for God, if it hadn't been for the Savior going to the Lord on my behalf, I'd done been shook to death. Amen. You would be too. Everyone in your life, how things are going good. Everything seems to be happening just like they should. And then all of a sudden, everything's falling apart. Amen. I can tell you one thing that happened. I can tell you something that never, that never happened. God didn't leave us. I can tell you one thing. God didn't run off on us. Amen. He is always there. If you want to know something you have to, you can, you can count on, listen. I, I, I used to have a little grand, my grandmother. Said, everybody in the world, everybody knew her, called her Granny. And I, she'd get so mad where she lived. And I, I can remember many times when she'd hurt getting mad at my sister. And she'd tell her, say, I'd just like to shake your head off. <laughs> you, you know what, man? I mean, you've been that mad just like. Listen, ain't don't you know that's exactly what the devil like to do to us? He just like to pick us up and shake us till we couldn't. Listen, he wants to shake everything in us. Uh, but you want to know what I can tell you about my father? Uh, my father's hands are steady. Uh, my father's hands are loving. Uh, my father's hands are comforting. Uh, my father's hands are sure. Uh, my father's hands are protective. Uh, hey, I don't have to worry about him picking me up and shaking me. Uh, all I got to do, uh, hey, when I'm being shaken, uh, when things feel like they're falling off at every turn, uh, when things feel like they're falling apart, uh, all I got to do is cry out. I know there's been somebody praying for me and he's already looking for me to come. Amen. That's our God. That's our Savior. That's the one that's praying for us. I say, what else the word means? I was listening to another uh, another farmer one time was talking about how he took those things and he shake it. And he put a, he put a tarp down. And he'd shake that thing, he'd shake it seriously. You know when it quit shaking? When he couldn't hear nothing else hitting the tarp. You know that's exactly what the devil wants to do to us. He wants to silence us. He wants to shake us so we don't have nothing else to say. He wants to shake us so we don't even have a voice to lift up. He wants to shake us to where we can't talk for God. He wants us to shake us so we have nothing else good to say for him. Hey, but I'll tell you what. I remember the story I've told you several times about a fellow I used to work with. Said his grandmother was laid on the deathbed for many years. And said every time he'd go see her, she'd say, in all things, God is good. And he asked her one day, he said, Granny, you've been here laying in this bed all my life. How in the world can you say that? She looked right at him and said, because, son, in all things, God is good. Hey, I'm telling you today, I don't ever want my voice to be silenced. No matter how low we go, no matter how down and out we feel, no matter how shaken up we are, no matter how many times the old devil tries to tear us apart, I can tell you this, he's still praying for you. He's still praying for you. He's still praying for me. I've said it now so many times. We get out there and we think about all the things that we've done in the past. And we get so worried. I sat down this morning as Jason was teaching. He's, he's talking over there about old Judy. And all the things that he done. And how he betrayed our Lord. And I, he asked the question, what do you think happened? What do you think happened when old, with old Judas? And he asked that question about old Judas when he betrayed the Lord. And I got to thinking, the first thing that came to his mind is what the Lord said. 
you know what? I get to thinking a lot of times the old devil likes to do to us. He likes to remind us of our past, don't he? There's a lot of us in here today that have a history. Amen? A lot of us in here today that's got a history that we'd like to forget about. A lot of us in here today that we've got a history that we're very glad that others may not even know about. Some of us might in here have a recent history. Some of us in here have a distant history. But all of us in here have a history. Amen? Uh, things we've said. Uh, places we've been. Uh, all the, the people we've hurt. Uh, the things that we've destroyed. Uh, the things that the way that we've tried to destroy the body. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of history that we had. Uh, you know what I can do about that history? Uh, there ain't one single solitary thing I can do about that history. Uh, but I can tell you this much. Uh, even off all that history. Uh, even with all those things I've done. Uh, he still prayed for me. Uh, I'm here today and I can't do nothing about yesterday. Uh, I can't do nothing about five minutes ago. Uh, but I sure can take the hold of the future. Uh, and I know who holds the future. Amen. Uh, I know who's got it. Uh, I know who knows all about it. Uh, and I know who knows where I should be. Uh, and I know who knows what I could be. Uh, I can't do nothing about what I was. Uh, but I can do everything I know uh, about who I is uh, and what I will be. Uh, and I can put my trust uh, in the one uh, that gave it all for me. Uh, that even uh, while I was yet in my sin, uh, he died for me. Uh, and even when I'm out there making mistakes, uh, he still prays. Amen. Amen. Some of us today have had some stories that we've overcome. Some of us have had some history that we've been able to make it through. The only reason we've been able to make it through is by God's grace. Amen. Look, there's some of us today. Not everybody grew up in the, in the Walton family. Amen. Not everybody grew up in church. Not everybody knew what church was. Not everybody knew what a good family was. But we can go through all those things. We can go through all those histories of, of our lives and the things that we've been through. I wonder how in the world we made it. You ever just stopped in your life and ever wondered how in the world you made it? Huh? Now look. You ever look at your life wonder how in the world I get to where I am. How in the world did I survive it through? How in the world did I make it to this point? You ever look in your life and stop back and see some of the places you've been? See some of the things you should have never made it through? You want to know how you made it through? Because he said, Simon, Simon, the old devil desired to have you. He wanted you. He wanted to sift you just like wheat. Oh, but I prayed for you. Hey, I tell you today, all of us should be in an early grave. I tell you, all of us today ought to be in a different place. None of us deserve to go to heaven. None of us deserve the goodness that God has bestowed upon us. None of us even deserve the opportunity that we have today. But you have it because he said, Simon, Simon, I prayed for thee. Every head bowed, never eye closed, every Christian praying, every heart searching. I want you to know something. If you don't get anything else out of message today, he's been praying for you. He's been praying just for you. There's somebody here today that needs to make a decision. And they need to move up on this altar. And they need to get something from God. You have an opportunity today to leave here different than you came. You have an opportunity here today to go out those doors closer to God.
just stand on somebody today just to make it through the service. You'll be all right. Just to make it through the service. That's going to be okay. Let me tell you, this might be the very last chance you ever have to get it right. Might be the last chance you have before it's over. He's been praying for you. He's been praying for you. But what's going to happen when he stops praying for you? What's going to happen when Jesus has prayed his last prayer? And that's it. That's it. No more. No more. Today's your day. You won't go. Today's the day. Not tomorrow, not next week. He prays for you. Anybody else want to come? We're going to finish our plan right here. We're going to Lord in prayer. I hope today that everybody is right where you need to be with God. If not, grow up. What's stopping you from getting close to God? What's hindering you from living close to God? Because you're just like what Jason said a minute ago. You've got a passion for Him. Anybody else want to get on this altar? else want to cry out. I'm putting my life, I'm putting my soul down here on this altar. I want to have a passion for the Lord. I want to thank you. Don't you pray that for me? I wouldn't have the man that I have if it hadn't been for God. I wouldn't be in this church today if it hadn't been for the man praying for me. I wouldn't have you if you hadn't been praying for me. Brother John, you say forward. appreciate you this morning. We appreciate the goodness of God. We appreciate his long suffering for us. We appreciate you. service now. Y'all slept through the first part. <laughs> Amen. We do appreciate you. Do be much in prayer for services tonight. Come back out and be with us. Uh, we'll watch. I think it's supposed to warm up a little bit. So, so hopefully we can see some of the roads, some more of the roads melt off. So we should be safe to come back out. If anything changes, I'll let you know. But we do appreciate you. We do love you. Do be much in prayer for everybody on our prayer list. Remember one another and tell somebody about the Lord this week. Shake somebody's hand and tell me love and God bless you.